Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now available on Steam from Render Cube Games and Toplitz Productions. It's a feudal Friday and we're back on the valley map with our new playthrough. We're in the spring of year two, about to wrap it up. And uh, looking to see what we're going to do going into summer. Hope everyone's had a great week. We've made it to the weekend, gang. So let's jump in here, see what's going on with Rasimir and the family here at our little village down the stream from Gustovia. We're on the 2.0.2.4 build. Uh, we're playing on the valley map. This is known as the Oxbow or 2.0 build. Currently available only on Steam for PC players, but the developers are working. They've put all their assets in, the small team that they are, into getting this onto uh, ready for uh, release on other platforms so uh, just uh, everyone be patient with them all right they're working on it we've done a lot of work uh, and it was a, a, a I think a lot that needed to be done to um, get things ready on PC so that uh, it could be then you know brought to the other uh, platforms and the key aspect I think was the multiplayer so that's what they've had to work on and been working on and so uh yeah it'll be coming soon they said first you know first or second quarter of this year and uh so you know give them give them some time it's not the easiest thing in the world to do so uh but uh anyway all right cool got that shared out sweet awesome and ready to rumble all right so we are standing down by the river because we have a couple of options here whoops what are we doing i don't know what we're doing uh we could hello oh i'm hitting the q key that would make sense we could build us a uh, a fishing dock here so let's just take a quick look at who we've got so you got me rasimir we'll go with my uh, my skill set all right so we're a level two in extraction we're a level one hunter still because sucks how they nerfed it so bad um farming we're level three and diplomacy we're level two uh survival we're level six because that's pretty straightforward to level up very quickly we've already got three of three points in athlete uh we've got two of three in strong as oak so as soon as we get one more point in there we will be at uh, maximum 130 hit points and we've had to use that a couple times because <laughs> Yeah, wolves. Mm. <laughs> They've kind of kicked our ass a little bit here. So, uh, and then uh, we're level four in production. Okay, now we're we're trying not to be a specialist in everything, but there are things you do that result in these going up. Okay, um, like we're not making a hundred things of pottage at a time. We we may make twenty, but we're not making a hundred. Right. So it's it, this is kind of the culmination of things I've talked about. Uh, through several weeks of gameplay on the Oxbow. We've slowed things down, but we've also sped up the clock. With three-day seasons, uh, we're limiting the size of the village. We're limiting the scope of what everyone can do to create a more realistic gameplay experience. We do have 200% on the buildings, and we do have fast crafting on. But otherwise, you know, we're kind of looking at building a family village based on the story in the game except one critical detail we've come to the valley and other members of our family like a couple of cousins maybe a brother and something you know their our plan is to meet here we're all coming looking to find uncle jordan but also to set up a new home for the family okay so that's the purpose here. In my aspect of this, you, the player, in the story in the game, you're looking for your Uncle Jordan, then you talk to Unigost, then you go through that whole Unigost quest line. I'm not going to do that just yet. We're going to wait until maybe one or two more, air quotes, family members show up, and then they're going to trigger that me to go actually start pursuing the questions of hey what's going on here what are we doing here what's the story here 
uh, Nina Gost, what, what actually happened with Uncle Jordan. Um, so, so far we have, uh, and if we go to management, Agnes is my wife. We were married year one. Okay. She's a 12 point NPC with a, uh, she's a specialist in extraction and in crafting. And now we have actually, uh, we are working on, where do I have her? I have her in the uh, sewing hut. No, she's in, wor in woodworking. She's doing woodworking now. Okay. Neslawa is our cousin. And she's working in the barn until we get uh, flax harvested in the summer. And then she's going to work in her specialty, which is crafting as a seamstress. Okay. So you can, she can do little piddly things, right? And we, I think we're going to build a fishing dock because these two, and we need an herbalist hut as well. Because that's things these two can do. Swibor's our uh, other cousin. Okay. And uh, he's Neslawa's older brother, we'll say. Let me write that down. Because i got to keep track of this stuff here. Uh, Neslawa's older brother. So that's our story there with how these people, how they fit in with us in the village. And uh, so we can't put them together anyway because there's more, ten, more than 10 years of difference in their age. All right. Uh, but he, he's just arrived in the village. We, we found him in Gustovia. And so we've got him taking over the lumberjacking job uh, work from uh, Agnes. And he's a capable uh, uh, family member as well. So he can do extraction work and he could do some fishing for us. Um, and uh, yeah, that's kind of how we're kind of rewriting the story or adjusting the story to fit a little different style of gameplay. Okay, that's the plan. So if we look here, what we've got, the wood demand looks good. Water we got covered. Food is good. Um, we're not trying to do everything like we did in our other village. We're trying to keep it fairly simple, family size. We don't want to take over half the map with the village. You know, look at the size of Gustovia. Look at the size of Hornica. Okay. They're not very big. We're already a little bit, we're almost as big as Gustovia. Okay. We're going to have a couple more farm fields we add over here. We'll add in some more orchard plots. We've got, uh, these are the ones that are planted or at least hoed up so far. Um, but we've got others we can add in if we get some more trees. Um, we do have three houses, a barn, a farm shed, um, a food storage building, resource storage building. We have a woodcutter shed. We have uh, Neslawa. We've built her a uh, seamstress hut. And next to that, we've built a workshop, and that'll be for Agnes. And then we have a hunting lodge and a well. The two critical things I want to get in here are going to be, um, I think, just a pigsty at least. I may, may not do the chicken thing uh, simply because chickens with the eggs, uh, that might tempt us to try to get into doing bread. And then, I mean, maybe we want to have a kitchen. I don't know. We have yet to write the story for who our other family members may be. And it could be that we find a wife for Swibor and maybe she is a really big time cook. She, so she's a baker. So we have to build a kitchen so she can bake bread or something like that. Part of the issue is our technology growth is going to be somewhat stunted by the fact that we don't ha we're not trying to grow the village as fast as we possibly can. And I'm not doing everything that I possibly can. Dude, Dreadnought, what's happening, buddy? How are you? It's snowing. Well, all right. I'm doing well. Thanks, bud. I appreciate it. Did a bunch of driving today. Oh, man, I should... Well, hmm. I should post a picture of the house I was in today. Good God, was it big. Oh, my gosh. Huge house. Um, out in South Lake, Texas. All right. So... 
that wraps up kind of the, the where we are with the family, what our objectives are, what we're looking to do. We've got uh, a little bit more daub work we need to do on this house here. This is Swibor's house. And so if we go around and we find an older uh, woman who's got some skills, we may look to uh, bring her in and pair her up with Swibor so that, um, you know, that adds to our village, right? We could say he found him a woman and yada, yada, yada. All right, 64 clay. If I take 60 of this, and if I get 60 straw, just like that, we run down here to the barn. I think we can make, oh good, the table's open. Hi, honey. Um, we're gonna make some daub. Snowing, huh? You're up in Michigan, right? Is that what you said? Or you're northern Wisconsin? Somewhere up in that area, up in the Great Lakes? All right. We have our hammer, so now we can go finish up Swibor's house. So let's whip this out. And let me go see where we've got to finish. I need to finish. I've got to finish. Northwest Indiana. Back home again in Indiana. And it seems that I can see the gleaming candlelight still burning bright through the sycamores for me. All right, I don't know the rest of the part. Uh, well, I don't know the next bit. In the fields I used to roam When I dream about the moonlight on the Wabash How I long for my Indiana home All right, I'll stop. Oh, I don't need that log. I need this. I'm sorry. I, I just, I, I've got great memories of watching, you know, the Indianapolis 500 growing up and Jim Neighbors belting that out. And uh, my, we went in 1995 and I got to see it live and it's just fantastic. It's just, I love it. I may have told you guys the story about when, hello, but hammer time. Um, when I, I made a bet with my dad in 1994 watching the race um, because he was a cowboy season ticket holder and um, he and my mom had been to the Super Bowl and then he went to the next one that's 92 93 and then 94 well no he'd been 93 and then 94 and then in uh, 94 we're watching the Indy 500 and um, he says, I'd like to go back to that race someday. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, that's interesting. I'd kind of like to go to that race someday too. Now, he had been in the 60s a couple of times. So I turned on my thinking cap, put the brain in motion and kind of worked up some things. And we'll set this here for a second. God, there's a bunch of quests out there we could go do for people, but it's the last day of the season. You never do quests on the last day of the season because you don't know if you'll actually get them done. Um, anyway, so I'm sitting there thinking, and I said to my dad, Dad, Cowboys go to the Super Bowl next year. You're probably going to go, right? Yes. But if the Cowboys don't go to the Super Bowl, you're going to have those assets set aside that could be allocated elsewhere. Yes? Yes. Cowboys don't go to the Super Bowl. We go to the Indianapolis 500 next year. Okay. Fast forward to January 1995. I'm in a Star Trek club here locally in Dallas, the USS Joshua. And I accompanied members of the, air quotes, crew. We went to Pensacola, Florida to the Naval Aviation Museum for a commissioning ceremony for one of their shuttlecraft. And this is the way the, the system worked for Starfleet International is you started out as a shovelcraft and then you had to have you meet circum you know certain 
things and you had to do this and I had to have so many people and blah, 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 blah. So you were a shuttlecraft for your year until your commissioning. And then once you met the requirements to be commissioned as a full-fledged chapter of the organization and there was a commissioning ceremony, you became the starship whatever. So I was a member of the USS Joshua, the Starship Joshua, and at the time I was the commanding officer of the shuttlecraft Dallas. Well, so I, we went along on this trip, and the commissioning ceremony was at the Naval Aviation Museum in Pensacola, which was super cool because even though we drove all day and half the night Friday night, I got up Saturday so I could go check out the museum. That was part of my reason for wanting to go on the trip. Like, hey, I get to go see airplanes. Awesome. Woo, let's go. So um, we do the commissioning ceremony, and then Sunday we're driving back. Okay? And it was funny because there was this little group that came in to entertain, and the commissioning ceremony took place underneath the four hanging A4 Skyhawks of the Blue Angels in the atrium area or whatever that's called. It's freaking awesome. There's this little group, and I remember they sang this, Yoda, yo, 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 Yoda, yo, 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 Yoda, Yoda from Pensacola. <laughs> so they had some song. Anyway, so we're driving back in John Coward's blue Plymouth Voyager van. And this is, again, January 1995. So it's been a minute, but I still remember it vividly. I'm in the far back. But they got the Cowboys game on the radio. It's the NFC Championship game. They're playing at San Francisco. And like five minutes in, it's like 21 nothing San Francisco. And I'm in the back of the van singing Back Home Again in Indiana. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, we're going to the race, baby. We're going. <laughs> And it was just an incredible day. We, we flew, my mom and dad and I flew up to Dayton, Ohio, where my dad's brother lived at the time. And we, uh, we spent the night with them. The morning of the race, we drove over to Indianapolis, parked at the airport. And this is how well organized this deal was. You parked at the airport, caught a shuttle bus. They had specific streets for the shuttle buses. And the traffic was shut down, was stopped. So a shuttle bus didn't have to stop. It just kept going through. It was like, move aside and let the man come through let the man come through Achoo. boom boom ch boom boom ch boom you know, little super bonbon anyway the bus takes us in turns on cuz if you don't know the Indianapolis Motor Speedway which is two and a half miles around it's enormous okay is in a residential neighborhood there are houses right outside the track and they turn on this street and they drop us off like 100 yards if that from the entrance to turn one, which is where our seats were. And we go in and we find our seats and we go figure out how the smooth the bathroom deal runs. You just never had to wait to go to the bathroom. Everybody, all the guys just walked up, stepped up to a trough. You peed in the trough, went and washed your hands, boom, done, gone. It was quick, it was efficient, it was well managed. We got to sneak into Gasoline Alley, see the cars get fueled and everything. I got to meet Dr. Jerry Punch from ESPN, which was super cool. And uh, yeah. That was a hell of an experience. Chuck Yeager, who was my hero, was flying the lead P-51. There were four P-51s escorting a B-17 for the flyover. So it was just an all-around incredible day and experience. And it turns out, because I was a big fan and always have been a big fan of Honda, when Ayrton Senna was in F1, you know, he drove the Honda McLaren car and all that. F1 came to IndyCar. Uh, well, it, it was CART, Champ Car at the time, I think. And um, Scott Goodyear, I think, was in the lead. Last caution, five laps to go or so. And coming off of turn four, the Corvette pace car pulls to pit road, pulls down the bottom of the track, and Goodyear rockets past it. But the green flag hadn't flown yet. They said he jumped the restart. He didn't, and they black flagged him and effectively disqualified him from the race it would have been the first win at indy for honda now they've won since but i was there and instead freaking jacques villeneuve got the victory Blech. so yeah that sucked okay so now here's the question what are we going to do so we have 60 flax tiles planted here this is a 10 by 6 field my standard size we've enlarged this one to 10 by 3 so this is a 30 tile Flat, uh, oat field. Okay, so I think what we need to do then uh, is figure out where we want to put piggies. Because we need pigs. Because we need manure. 
You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? We may need a... Oh, there's some broadleaf plantain. Let's grab that. Um, look at the butterflies. Aw. We've got these trees standing here. We could do fields on the other side of them, I guess. Could just come right through to here instead of cutting all the trees down. What do you guys think about that? Maybe we could do a pigsty here. It doesn't have to be very big. Does that seem reasonable? I think that kind of seems reasonable. It kind of seems reasonable to me. Does it seem reasonable to you? It seems reasonable to me. I'll grab some steak off the ground here and grab those steaks and that steak and these steaks. We need lots of steak for a fence and some St. John's wort while we're at it. No, I don't want the morel mushrooms. Morel mushrooms are useless unless you're making uh, mushroom soup. And mushroom soup, if you look at the management tab and the food items list, mushroom soup unless they've changed it, is useless. Number 35 on the list. I mean, you might as well just have roasted meat or roasted fish meat. It's right there. <laughs> so pottage, people. Pottage is your friend. And they actually changed it from the 1.0 version of the game, which is currently available on everything but those of us playing on 2.0. Soup is a higher ranking than pottage. Pottage ranks about 25 on the list. And soup ranks about 23. Hello, Adam. Welcome aboard. How are you this evening? Yeah, you know, the big races. Chicago's moving into your town. Oh, that sucks. Joshua, howdy, howdy. How are you, sir? How's the, the cleanup move-in situation going? About getting that squared away? All right, y'all are here just in time because we were just talking about we've got our 10 by 6 flax field that will be cabbage in the summer. And then we got our 10 by 3 oat field, which is going to alternate between oat and rye right there. We need pigs. All right. I think we need piggies. So I'm thinking we're going to put a pig pen here. I may dig up this one tree stump. And then I think if we do a couple of other fields, we may just do them over here in this open space. Nice big open space. You know, maybe we put a couple more houses over here when we get our other family members in here. Because currently it's me, Rasimir, my wife Agnes, Neslawa, who's our cousin, and her older brother, Swibor. Okay, that's the village right now. I think we're going to bring in, you know, maybe two more people that are family, air quotes, family members. And then we'll try to find some people to hook them up with and maybe see if we can propagate and, you know, you know, build the village. I just use the word propagate. I was discussing flowers with a friend of mine a little while ago. And it's like, hmm, <laughs> I don't think I have fences unlocked. Uh, what would be good? We need a, oh man, we don't choose. Oh, I don't have the money for that. Ooh, we need to make some money. <laughs> you know what? Let's go make some money first. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Uh, wait, I don't even need to go here for money. What we need to do is go, wait, let me think this, uh, think this through. I think we only have 11 bowls. We do only have 11 bowls, so we need like nine wooden bowls. Um, but our waifu is working in the wood, sh the workshop, and she may be making some, and let's see if she's made some. <gasps> she's made one. Hmm. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> well, that's not terribly productive. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, uh, let's think this through then. What can we do about changing up the production in the workshop? She just got in there too. All right, wooden bowls, she's only making about 10 per day. Hmm. You know what? I like these production numbers. I don't want them, I don't want it to be insane. So we'll take a couple of logs over there. Uh, two, three... Let's, let's take four. Four is good. And then we will perhaps... Yeah, isn't it, though? Hi, honey. Can I free this up for a second? Thanks. So she's going to sweeping because right now there's only the one position in there to have available. All right. So that's, uh, what did I make, 20 bowls, I think? 20? I think 20 because I had four logs. 20. That's good. All right. So now we need 40 cabbage. 
and we need 60 meat. So we're going to take 60 of the older stuff. People won't know the difference. All right. That doesn't leave us much cabbage for ourselves. Now we're going to come in here and use the cauldron in our house. And we're going to make 20 things of pottage to go south. Hey, hey, we got a new level in production. Sweet. All right. Got some skills. Um, wow, we get jumped up a bunch there. Okay, what can we put? Well, at one point, we're at level five. Crafting knowledge, builder trance, builder. Slower durability loss of hammers, I think, is a good thing because we're really just using a basic hammer for now, so let's go with that. When we get to level six and we get two more points, we'll do more of like uh, crafting expert and builder trance. Okay. Uh, I don't think we have anything else to really go sell. We do have quite a bit of food. I do want to build a fishing shack. Fish shack. Baby fish shack. And it's steak. And let's run over to Gostovia and sell. Weapons up. Go sell. I don't want to put the pig pen over here because it's not level. It's too bad we can't terraform. I mean, I don't want to terraform a lot. I would just like to be able to level these humps out, you know? Freaking Fergie and her humps. My humps, my humps, my humps. Check it out. I don't want to check out your humps. I want to level your humps, beach. <laughs> Lots of steep move, bird. I don't, I'm just saying, just get out of the way. Move us aside and let the man come through. Let the man come through. I think we're going to have to make some more axes, though. Um, or put the, the bronze and copper axes into the uh, woodcutter shed. I think our waifu used up the iron axe that I had in there. We have a bronze axe and a copper axe that we can put in. We'll just make some stone axes. Really? No, I'm not going to. That's not with iron bolts. You lose an iron bolt on a bird. That's just dumb. That's dumb. Making dinner for everyone. What's on the menu tonight? All right. Let's go see. Excuse me. Pardon me. How are you? Good. I brought you all some fresh food for dinner. How's potted sound? Awesome. Um, I don't think there's anything we need, but How know, can I, help you? I know what we can do and what I do want to do. What I do, 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 and the da, da, da. Let's go see Edwin. I Edwin. How can I help you? Uh, just in case, do me a favor, bud. I'm going to buy 10 fertilizer. Okay. And I want 10 cabbage seed. Because we're planning for for the larger um, larger planting in summertime, right? But I'm thinking I want to do a small field now just so we have it. And then we'll be able to have that in the inventory. And maybe we can make some pottage for our own people. What a concept. Um... We do have a crap ton of berries we're waiting to rot. So we can wait until summer for that. Now, here's... Oh, gosh. Now we got another possible concept. Oh, I had Burger King as well, Autumn. <laughs> Stopped on the way home. I, I drove a bunch. I drove like 150 miles today. It sucked. Um, but, like I said, the, no, the first house I was in was super nice. And I did a cornice install there. That went pretty quick. And then I had to drive all the way back across DFW to Forney, which is out the southeast corner of town. And it was a nice family who just uh, relocated here like a week ago or so from Jersey. And so I got to welcome them to Texas. And 
they're like Man, everybody down here is so friendly and everything it's like yeah that's what we do and you know i because i i've heard you know i've i've visited new york and but i you know gotten the idea people up that way just aren't the most friendly folks in the world they're like yeah fuck you you know whatever people down here are pretty nice and uh so yeah gave them the 411 on some things like go to bucky's <laughs> That's critical. You've got to do that. All right, where are we going to put this little field that I've just envisioned? Little cabbage field. And we were talking about putting the pigsty here. I guess we could start it over here. That would kind of make sense. Let's clear this crap out. Right? I mean, we can make a 10 by 6. We don't have to build it 10 by 6. Come here. Come here. Come here clear all this crap out of here we might as well keep the resources pulling weeds and stuff that's henbane we're going to lose that dandelion just popping out of the ground here see i think this would be a cool concept for the game to actually work this way where you know your cousin you know your cousins show up and you know, family members show up, and th that's where it helps grow your village. All right, let's go to farming and go to fields. And start there. Oh, dang it, that's not going to work. All right, that's okay. Start a little further up. We're just a little close to that path right there. All right, right here-ish, face west, because you got to face the cardinal directions for the fields and the orchards. Ten, cool. Okay, there's a ten by six field. Boom, sweet. Uh, do we have a ho-ho-ho on us? We do not. we got to go get a ho-ho-ho. I know, we can't use the word. Oh, no, that's that's the other one. <laughs> Almost went into some Robin Williams from Good Morning Vietnam, but it didn't actually apply in that case. Never mind. All right, I've got my iron hoe. Could I, why is there a fern plant here? This does not seem like an appropriate place for a fern plant. That's kind of a tropical thing, isn't it? I mean, last I checked. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're going to put the iron hoe in slot six. Do we not have a bag? We don't have a bag. Papa's got a brand new bag. Okay. I. Two. Cool. Six. All right. So all we need to do right now is just knock down uh, one row of this. You don't have to plant the whole thing. You don't have to work the whole thing. And we'll just keep the steaks around it to mark it until you... Uh, until you grub the entire field so you have to grub it then you have to fertilize it okay so now there's our 10 right so now we whip this bag out and we right click and we go here and we go fertilize and then we're going to start chucking poo with our bare hands Blech. i need some sanitary wipes please So I gave them the 411 on Bucky's, and I told the lady, Hi, Robin, how are you today? Um, I told them they needed to go to Bucky's. I said, Do you like fudge? And the lady was like, Oh, I love fudge. Her eyes kind of got big. Her daughter was sitting there. It was funny. So I said, Uh huh. <clears throat> Saw her eyes open up there when I said fudge. And I'm like, Yeah, they have like 20 different kinds of fudge at Bucky's. She was like, Oh my gosh, we're going this weekend. <laughs> they don't have Bucky's up in Jersey. They don't have nice people either. So, you know, like, yeah, well, there you go. You met a nice person, and you now know about Bucky's. All right, now we're going to go back to the cabbage. Cabbage, right there. You know what else we have? We have carrot seeds, too. I don't know if we have them on us. I think I put them back in the farm shed. In theory, we could plant carrots as well. And you know what? I think we will, because why not? The more crap we can make and sell, the better off we'll be. But those won't be ready until autumn. We do have some beetroot, too. 
So if all else fails, we can just start building our seed bank a little bit here. So let me do this because I know it's getting late in the day. Yep. So let's run back over here. So the pig pen is going to be our priority come summer. See, we've got like a thousand berries here in 1100 uh, waiting to rot at season change and then they can be made into fertilizer. All right, let's see what we got. So there's cabbage seed. All right, 15 carrot seeds. Okay. No. Oh, yes. I want the four beetroot seed. And we'll take the carrot seeds. And you know what? We'll take 10 more poppy seeds. Uh, we could do some wheat, but I really don't feel like farting around with it. Okay, how much do we have? So we have four fitting and then... 10 um hmm. let's take 10 more poppy seeds because i think we can sell those for a pretty good chunk of change all right so that's 20 poppy and then 15 and four between carrots and beetroot so we're really just we found the beetroot seed and the whole point of this exercise is we may get six beetroot seeds out of the harvest in the autumn, okay? So carrots, beetroot, and poppy all won't harvest until autumn. So let's see here. So we got 20. Forty-nine. Right? Yeah. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we might as well take another, you know, like, Uh, 20 wheat grain. Let's see here. We'll do 20 wheat grain. Okay. All right. So that's basically the entire field sands one tile. So now we need 60 fertilizer. And we don't. Oh, shoot. There's the technicality. Oops. I didn't think that through very well. Did Well. Nope, didn't think that through. Shoot. Uh, okay, so we have eight. All right, well, let's put this back on the shelf. I don't have the money for all that. And I don't have time to run the Gustovia or Denica and buy more. All right, so carrot seed. Let's put uh, 11 of those back. So we have four beetroot and four carrots and <laughs> eight fertilizer. What an idiot. <laughs> Didn't think that through very well at all. All right. So then we'll just come over here and we'll plant what we got. Right? That makes sense. Um, yeah. Let's just plant what we got. Because that's, that's cabbage. That'll be ready, ready in the summer. And then we got eight. Just plant what you got. Gee, many Christmas. That's not the right tool. The right tool for the right job. One, two, three, four, fifth, six, seven, eight is enough. Sweet. Okay, let's put down some poo. One, two, so we're going to have plenty of fertilizer come summer. And we're not planting anything in summer. So we'll have all that rot to turn into fertilizer. And that will cover um, the summer planting. And it will, nope, not that, that. It will cover uh, the autumn planting of rye. Okay. And then we will have some Bat, uh, we'll gather berries during the summer to give us more rot so we can prepare for next year's spring planting. But then our objective is going to be um, to, um, oh, Bucky's has fudge. They have like a dozen plus types of fudge. I mean, off the top of my head, they have plain, walnut, pecan, um, M&Ms. That's my favorite. Then they have peanut butter. I think they have a peanut butter and chocolate mix, and then they have peanut butter. Then they have, um, 
I think they have a, a white chocolate fudge. They have strawberry fudge. I mean, they just, it's just tons of it. So whenever you walk in the big buckies, right, if you come in the front door, you have the registers you walk through, and just off to the left is typically where you have the, the brisket, the sandwiches and stuff, and you'll hear the dude say, fresh hot brisket on the board. And then everybody else over there, because there's usually like six or eight people, they're like, fresh hot brisket on the board. So everybody in the store knows there's fresh hot brisket on the board, right? You know what I'm saying? So, um, all right, so we need to put down carrots. Actually, we're, we're going to do poppy on this side because it's pretty. Oh, I didn't get poppy seeds. What the hell? Oh, I got beetroot. Beetroot, 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 beetroot. All right, so we'll do, we'll do carrots here. And then um, to the left of that is where the uh, fudge deal is. So, yeah. Uh, okay, there's our four of those. And now we need, wait, we, did, we just did carrot seeds, right? Oh, geez, Louise, I'm getting lost here. Beetroot seeds, here we are. Okay. One, a two, a three, a three. Cool. All right, we've done the farming stuff. So now, since I was short on poo, we have got to resolve this poo situation. However, comma, again, the main issue is the fact that we need to be able to feed the pig, right? You got to have you got to have the um, amount of animal feed to feed the pig. Now we've got like ten animal feed we found that's in resource storage, so that helps. Um, but I'm just thinking, we want to put the oinkers like right here. It seemed like a good. Let's see how big. I forget how big their pen is. Well, that's not very big. I think we should put it. I don't want to make a big sty for them, a big pig sty. I want to kind of line it up with this a little bit. I know it's kind of goofy, but I don't want to go back too far either. Or maybe I should line it this way. Well, this, this feels better. I like this. Let's face north. Stand in the place where you live, now face north. Think about direction, wonder why we you haven't before. All right, I can't. Oh, you know what? I know what the problem is. Here's the problem. If there was a problem, yo, I'll solve it. Check out the hook while DJ revolves it. Okay, so there's the pigsty. Now I can see what I'm doing to an extent. I'm trying to kind of line up the back edge of it a little bit with that. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got this figured out. Let's put that right about the, okay? And then we're going to come over here, here, okay? And then we're going to go here. Oh, I don't have the fence. I can't afford the fence yet, so the pigs are just going to wander free for now. Okay, whatever. Oh, look, we got four stones on us. So let's go find some some stones. Oh, look. How convenient. Okay, we need six logs. And I know we're going to need more than that. Well, you know what? Poop. It's a little further. I would have liked to line it up with the edge of this field, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is put a fence here. Oh, no. I did this intentionally. Well, kind of. We'll say we did. Um, we're going to put like the gate here and then we'll just have the fence go up like this and then cut across like this and then drop back down like this and then run into this corner here. That's the plan. I love it when a plan comes together. You know what? We're going we're gonna to eliminate this tree here as a obstacle. All right, so there's one. So let's see how many logs home Vern gathered for us. Oh my gosh, this trips me out running around third person perspective. But it's smart to build in it. I just I'm not gonna oh that's a that's not a crap ton. Uh we need some straw. 
Maybe some steak. Let's see. I'm going to hold on because I've got steak. Oh, you know what? I'm a doofus. I went and sold freaking pottage to get money so we could unlock the fence. What a utter maroon. What a non com poop. We're going to have to go cut down trees and eat our lunch just like our old papa. Yeah, gas is going back up. And you know something? Hmm. Odd thing, it's not yet summer travel season. You know the lie we were told for years? People were lied, lying to us, because, well, depending on your political inclination. You know, all oh, the spring is gas gets, you know, more expensive or whatever because the refinery shut down for maintenance, right? You remember when that was talked about? I think Bush was president and whatever. And now, of course, you know, there's, it's, it's, and then everyone else, well, they're just trying to profiteering and whatever. When the hell are you supposed to do maintenance on the refinery otherwise? You don't want to do it during the busy part of the year, so you do it during the spring when it's kind of quiet before the busy part of the year, the summer travel season, right? I'm parched. Holy shit, dude. If I wanted your opinion of how thirsty you were, I'd have given it to you. All right. That kind of scared me a little bit there. I might have peed myself if I were so inclined. Anyway, so now notice, you know, prices are going back up, but hey, you know. It's amazing the, the price of gasoline has stayed relatively flat over, you know, the past 15, 20 years. But nobody's bitching about the cost of a bottle of water. A liter of water has almost doubled in price. Hmm. Anybody else notice that or do I just, am I the only one? Steak? Steak? Okay, I hear you. Get your belly aching. Get the dandelions. Okay. All right. All right. Now, I do need to eat something here. Do I have bread on me? I don't. Oh, no, I don't need. Oh, what an idiot. Dang it. I did not need to eat anything because as soon as we hit midnight, Everything's going to reset, and we're going to be full on food again. Whoops. Didn't think that through, did I? No, you didn't, A-Train. Uh. Okay, we're out of logs, so we need one log. I think we got enough steak. Because we're going to have to go over to Rolnica to get some piggies. All right, so we need, we're just going to finish building what we can build here. Well, I'm out and about all day as a contractor. All right, so we need, I need three logs, four, five, six logs. Oh, I think we know where we can get six logs. That would be two spruce trees. Hey, look, there's spruce trees over here. Let's go grab some. Um, sure. But I did just clear my so clean my stock out. So you know what, maple tree, you're about to get sliced and diced too. Sorry to say, your time is. Oh, these are both maple trees. Oops. That gives us a couple of extra logs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, give me a couple more. Tim, whoops. Burr. Now, see, notice, again, once I hit that tree, it had stopped moving. As soon as I hit that tree with the axe, it was inert, so it would not hurt you. I've had people try to argue with me and say, oh, the tree will kill you. Yes, the tree will kill you if you let it fall on your head. But once you hit it with the axe, it becomes inert. So either let it fall and stop moving or, you know, 
get the hell out of the way. Let it fall and stop moving. And if it's hung up on another tree, just whack it. It'll, f and it, it, it won't hurt you. I know these things. I've played this for a minute or two. Pig pen. Hooray. Okay. Let's check the time. Eh. Let's plot this out real quick. I think we can plot this out real quick. You think we can plot this out real quick? I feel, I feel like we can plot this out real quick. The trick is going to be getting the gate right. Because that's always a pain in the ass. All right. So, um, Q fences steak and we need this so we're gonna that's expensive but all right and then we need the gate steak gate that's 300 that's 200 i think we'll go with the 200 one okay so now we're back down to 245 on the coins it's about where we were okay so now gate Okay, we're right there. Cool. Okay. So now I think you know, we'll start here and do the fence. And we'll do right. Hello? 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 So now, oh, well, no, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to do that. Uh, first off, we want to quit back out to third person perspective. We want to face due north to make this neat. Okay. And now we'll go here, 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 here. Bump it over just a little bit to the right until we're in the clear. Click. Back that ass up. Okay, now we don't want to go past that tree. We want to go right there. And right up. Beautiful. And that is how you build a nice, neat fence, people. <laughs> well, that's how you lay it out. This is not how you build it. We haven't built it yet. So, yeah. I mean, we could. But I think we'll build that in summer, summer, summertime. I mean, let's build the gate. Cool. All right, that's good. All right, we're stinky, we're hungry, we're whatever. Let's go jump in bed with our wife because that'd be a great idea. <laughs> Since we missed, somehow we screwed up the opportunity to sleep with her early on, but. All right, let's go to summer. Quick, quill, quick, quick, quill, quick, 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 cool. Make a decision. Beautiful rainbow after rain. Looks nice. Your people seem happy and they consider it a good omen. All right, cool. Well, I'm glad there's no restrictions for that. All villagers got 10 moods. Sweet. Everyone work harder. <laughs> Notice I wound up in the separate bed last night. Hmm. Hey, Agnes. Hello there. Hello there. Now her mood's going up, which is good. Uh, how's our little kingdom doing? Everything seems to be working well. Oh, wait. I got to change clothes. Summer, summer, summertime. Time to go. I just sit back and unwind. Oh, shoot. We had a little bit of food in our pocket. <laughs> um, trousers, yes. Oh, simple shoes. We we'll switch our noble boots for simple shoes. Okay, cool. And we're naked almost. Oh, great. Now we got a hat on. We're like Tom Sawyer. Short sleeve tunic. I knew there was something I was forgetting. Y'all don't want to look at my white ass anyway. You're going to need the shade you wear for watching the eclipse. Could you not stand in the, the door there, dear? Thank you. Well, I appreciate you holding it open for me. All right. So this is good news, bad news situation here. The good news is <laughs> we have a crap ton of um, of flax to harvest. Bad news is we really don't have the tools for it. So that's not so good. Um, 
So let's see if we can arrange the tools here better. Bronze axe, let's take that, take a copper axe. Okay. We'll run these down to the woodcutter's shed so that Sovomir Swibor, excuse me, Swibor can cut down trees and eat his lunch just like his old papa. Cool. Now you don't have to do that. You can leave them in resource storage. You'll be just fine. We gotta clean all these steaks up again. We changed seasons and now there's sticks everywhere. But we need them for the pig pen. So, yeah. Deadly nightshade we do not want. I hate that stuff. Anybody got some Roundup I can borrow? Uh, I'm not sure. I want to make sure we have a crap ton because we need a crap ton to do what we need to do here. Build the fence around the pig pen. Nope. Don't care about St. John's wart. Thank you. Nope. I don't want the deadly nightshade. Thank you. Steak. Here's Henbane. Uh, we'll get that later. Oh, there's a production issue. What is the production issue? Uh, what's the production issue? Workshop one. What do you not have? No resources. What do you not have? No logs. You know something? I think I've got a couple of those on me. I can fix you up. Why, looky there. How about them apples? Boom. Problem solved. All right. So, oh, we've got fruit. Hooray. All right. That's something we can go sell. May trade that off for some animal feed. Looking for some. Oh, hell no. Doggone it. Ugh. That's why I got extra logs. <laughs> oh, it sucks working with wooden tools. You get spoiled working with the uh, the good stuff, you know. So need one. Craft us a new hammer. All right. Should be. There it is. All right. Cool. I really wish, I mean, it'd be great, but it'd be, I guess, complicated or whatever for the developers to do. And uh, um, you know, making so you can build fences with snapping. That would be helpful. I think we're going to need more steak. All right, calm down. God. Now, I think they quit adding fluorine, uh, fluoride to water. I can smell chlorine in a pool if it's really strong. My weird thing is, ever since I was a kid, depending on the frequency, you know, when you ever do this when you're walking in a mall and you walk into a store and it has the, their sensor system um, to trigger if someone steals something? You know, it's like the RFID system or whatever crap. I could hear that. It was weird. It was high pitch and it was like, oh my God, it, made my, it just drove my ears nuts. Grab everything until you max out your uh, 
survival skills, just keep grabbing stuff. Especially thistle and henbane. That's good stuff. It never goes bad. Keep that, and you will use that to make potions of weight and potions of strength. Grab that too, sure. If nine steak. Any more steak? Oh look, there's steak everywhere up here. It's like we're in the forest or something. Take the broadleaf plantain while we're at it. Because grab everything. More or less. I don't have stone stockpiled though. We're not building stone houses this go around. At least not yet. We may in the second generation or third generation. Star Trek the next generation. Something like that. Come on. Steak. Steak. Lots and lots of steak. Oh, there's lots of steak over here. Cool. That should be enough to finish this. Oh, that's more. What an idiot. I didn't need that much. <laughs> I need like 10 of them. We're going to spend an all day grabbing steak. Now, I would almost kind of probably would have been smart to build a second gate over here. But you know something? That is the nicest, squarest off fence I have ever built. So I'm pretty happy about that. Let's go. Um, Is our girl in here busy? She's making. Okay, she's doing stuff. I'm the farmer, so let me freaking farm. Okay, apples, apples. Oh, you know what? This would be the fifth season. I planted these in spring of year one. Sweet. Okay, cool. There, there, there's our apples. Hooray and huzzah. Now, those trees all over there probably won't give up fruit till next summer well okay I have apples in my pocket so let's see if we got everything everything in here is still kosher we'll grab this um, the meats okay cabbage we got some cabbage to go get but we gotta go throw these apples away we're gonna put them in the recycle bin right here the recycle bucket get buckets and then what we're going to do here is xf well, oh no i just ate the damn thing i hit xf what a retard all right let's take this and this and that and that's heavy and we're going to put it in here because it can go in here now we can have waifu make fertilizer. So let's do that. Let's switch our job stuff here in farming. Barn one. Instead of working rye grain, which we should have plenty of. She can do that some, I guess. Yeah, there's two per day. Okay. So fertilizer. Now you got to pick one. So that one's manure based. This is rot based. See, this is stupid. It's only going to make four per day. So we're going to wind up um, doing some of this ourselves. Which is not a big deal, but it's just some of the stuff that they they didn't think it through. They wanted to make the game harder, and I can appreciate that. But some of it, they, they just, again, they didn't think it through. Guys, think about the future. Uh, this is not going to last us long, but we'll work it. I like the way you work it. No diggity. I like to bang it up. Let's come over here because we kind of want to get people working in the jobs we want them to be working in. All right, you there, you there. I uh, don't need, well, yeah, let's keep a few on us. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need them. Okay. We don't even, we're not even loaded up with food. Well, we got this one roasted meat. Why am I so heavy? Cross bit, 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 bit. 
the shovel. Okay. All right. So let's get what we can get, and then we're going to have to go get us a stone sickle or two. Um, inventory. Because this guy is not going to last long. don't like this at all I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it well that's not the waifu working in there that's um that's Neslawa until we get her this flax dang it Now this will get us some money though because now we can have her make it into um, linen thread and make some stuff. Come on. Keep me on the eastern path here. And then we can get some better tools because we don't have our cousin the smithy here with us yet. And that's what we need. Let's just keep working it till we can't work it no more, I guess. Right? Just keep working, just keep working. And done. Done. Okay. All right. So we got some, uh, we at least got some of it done. So we can actually move the lady from the barn where she's not terribly qualified to be. Okay. Now, let's move Neslawa to the sewing hut. Now she's assigned there. Okay, barn one, we need to turn off the work there. We'll go do it ourselves. We're more qualified and we can do it faster because we can fast craft. Even if you don't fast craft, you still do it faster than the AI does. Then again, if they were a level 10 AI, they might be quicker than you. I, mean, I don't know. All right, um, she's in production, sewing hut. And make, oh, well, wait a minute. Well, she can't make that yet until <gasps> poop. No, we're not there yet. Damn it. Oops. <laughs> Idiot. I didn't think that through. She needs to stay in the barn. No, she doesn't need to stay in the barn. I can do this. Hold on for a second. I'll be right there. Give me this blockhead. Just hang on a second. I'll be right there. Okay. We had to thresh it first. Sweet. Okay, cool. Now, if we go back, she'll go sweep for a minute, and then she'll have stuff here in just a second. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, now she's got flax stalks. So now we can have her make linen thread. And then once she makes some linen thread, all right, so there was like a hundred of them. Let me back this down a little bit. Let's see if we get back down to 10. So make some linen fabric. OK. 
Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. Now, once you've done that, nope, back this down. Nope, don't need that. We need these. Okay, and make water skins. Okay, she'll make uh, one every couple of days. So maybe we bring this back down a little bit. Make six of these a day. Make a bag per day. Make some linen fabric. So you got to have linen fabric to make a bag. You got to have two leather. And then for water skin, I wanted to make one water skin per day. Perfect. That'll do, pig. All right, so that's 92%. Let's go ahead and process this up to seven. Nice. And how much of this can she make? Oh, she can make most of a ba simple bag per day. Okay. I'm, I'm down with that. That's pretty straightforward, right? We make some linen thread. She makes some, now, you take, it takes five flax stalks to make a linen thread. We have 105 we just put away. It takes one linen thread to make a linen fabric she'll do three of those per day so she'll make seven linen thread so that will take 35 flax stalks she'll make one or it's three linen fabric one of those then goes into making a bag along with two leather and then she'll take a couple of leather and make a water skin the bag bags are worth a shite ton of money I forgot about that. Yeah, let's take that down. Let's think this through. We're going to make two of these a day. Yeah, that's mo' better. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. And then, yeah, make one of those every couple of days. These are selling for like 300 which means we can make like 150 per. Yes, rise, fall. Rise. Your, your crop rotation. Carrots. Plant winter, harvest summer, springtime. Carrots plant spring, harvest autumn. Ca uh, poppy, oat, wheat. Poppies, oats, wheats. Uh, um, poppies, oats, wheats, and carrots, and beetroot. All plant in the spring, harvest in autumn. Cabbage and onions plant in spring, uh, and flax. Cabbage, onions, flax plant, plant spring and harvest summer. Cabbage plants summer, harvest autumn. Rye plants autumn, harvest spring. Wheat plants autumn, harvest summer. That's winter wheat. And that will screw people up because they think they're going to split the field, you know, and do uh, wheat in the spring and then do wheat again in, in the autumn. But then it doesn't harvest until summer because it's winter wheat. So you got to know the difference. So the better way to pair that up is to do uh, rye and um, wheat in the spring, I think. So, um, so yeah. My oh, I got to pick up my laundry tomorrow. Dropped a couple shirts off today. All right, so we'll pick that up tomorrow. No worries. Okay, so I think we're good here. This, this, oh, this, this makes me feel good. I think we're going to be able to make some money doing this. It's going to improve our self sufficiency. This is good. But I do need to still go get tools for this. So to do that, we may have to, um, the good tools would be in Lesnica. I know we had 11 bowls. Did our waifu make some bowls? She did. Looky here. Sweet.
Problem is we don't have cabbage. Damn it, Bavis. I don't have onions. Okay. Um, what can we do? Apples sell. Not for much. Wait a minute. You're an idiot. Dude. Hello? Hello? McFly? <laughs> what a moron. I don't have cabbage. Really? You don't have cabbage, you say? How about you have some cabbage now? Doofus. This is why I planted 10 cabbage. You remember, each of those, that's 90 cabbage, which means that's 40, wait, 45 um, pottage, if we want to go that direction. Okay, so let's put down 60, no. 52. So we should have 38, 40. So then we need 60 meat. All right. And we got cabbage seed. Do this. All right. Cabbage seed, got it. Check, check, check. Checkity check. Okay, there's 10, 11. And we have, we should have 11 bowls in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so we can actually transfer nine of those. So we'll have 20 bowls. Uh, yeah, one, yeah, flax. Hey, Joshua, enjoy your dinner, bud. I may have missed that. It may have been like half an hour ago when he wrote that. Okay. Uh, so now I think we're good. So uh, we put the cabbage seed up. We need, a, we need tools. To get tools, we got to go to Lesnica. We need food to carry with us, though. And I don't want to eat the pottage. The pottage is for sale. So let's grab some stuffs. We have dried meat. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this and maybe these. Cool. And this. All right. All right, let's hit the road. Whoa, Mercury, shooting through every degree. Oh, girl, dancing down those dirty and dusty trails. Take a hip to hip, rock it through the wilderness. Around the world, the trip begins with a kiss. Roam if you want to, roam around the world. So I think that's my favorite B-52 song. Now, we, we should not expect the camp there because it was there early. And I would not expect the bad guy. Oh, well, hello. There's a card here, though. Uh, there's just going to be ore and stupid crap here. Stone. Yeah, iron ore. Not much. We, we encountered the bad guy camp up here on the left. Are the logs over here? We could use those logs. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Whatever. Roam if you want to. Roam around the world. Now, Piggy are coming way past this area now. They're... Their range has been expanded. This is where the bad guy camp was last time. We had to jack their stuff. With Piggy chasing me, not making any noise. That's something they're doing now. They're getting sneaky. Um, before we run into town, let's see if we can get lucky and get a bronze pickaxe. Because that would kick axe. 
So we're Denica. We're looking right there in front of us. Just like that. Who knows what they're doing, people? I do. Um, you know what? We're going to take the limestone because it's free freaking money. Okay, cool. We're going to sell this. You know, it's only going to get two-thirds of the value. And then, you know what? While we're here, this is where it helps to have an herbalist hut early game because the herbalist can gather berries now she'll they they i should say that sh they not she um they will not gather unripe berries which seems kind of dumb to me it's like if they're there why can't they gather them huh 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 makes no sense huh huh tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me tell me but um But then we'll drop these and let them rot over uh, going into autumn. Oh, there's some. Clear. All right, let's go sell our food. We'll check who's around the campfire. We'll hit the road. We'll take the Uber. Well, no, we're going to run. Hi, Kinga. How are you? Good. I got some food for you. Best goods in the realm. Well, good. Here, buy this buy this oh yeah we got two points in barter now so we got better prices ha ha suck on that 28 uh, give me some money um i think that's it that's it that's it that's it cool goodbye goodbye let's see if we can find one of our cousins over here Hi, are you one of my cousins? You are not. You're just a schlub. Baldwin, are you? Well, Baldwin? <gasps> Baldwin's a hunter. That would help. That guy's a sh Well, he's not a total schlub. Nah, you know what? I don't want to talk to you. Thanks, Chair. Yeah. He is not. Um, he's got skills we already have in the in the uh, group. He's a 3-3. Three, three. We got Nay Slawa. She's a 3-3. Three, three. Here's a 3. Here's a 3. So we're all... We're well covered on the back end. What we really need, I mean, I would think my my brother, whatever, would be a uh, farmer. So we could use someone who's a strong farmer type. And I'm looking to my right, not only because we run faster, but there can be a bad guy camp right there. But typically, there's pikes, so it's visible from a distance. All right, are we getting close on time? Oh, shoot, we are. We got to kick this in the ass for Coda. What the hell does that mean, A-Train? Eh, kick this in the ass for Coda. You, know, kick it, you better kick it in the ass for Coda. You want to go home early? That's from uh, Miracle. Phil Vercoda was one of the players on the 1980 U.S. Olympic hockey team. And Coach Brooks was trying to goad him to, or Carter, was trying to goad all of them to do it. Nothing there. All right. This would not be the time. I would want to see bad guys right here. There can be bad guys up there, and there can be bad guys at this bridge. All right, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, boots, trousers, fishing spear. Doo, 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 doo. Yes, if you go back on my, um, the, uh, community tab, I think, oh, look here, more free stuff. I like it. Hell to the, yeah, this is helping. Helping towards the A train needs money fund. Money. Well, that's an arrow, right? Give me that. Give me, give me. Give me stupid daisy. While we're at it, there's another one. Stone arrow. Come on. Okay. Dandelion. Dandelion. Come on. Don't screw around. Teal ball is going to be off work. Okay. I don't see anything else. Let's go. Um. Shoot. I forgot that's what I was saying. Oh, fishing stuffs. So I made a A-Train's Guide to Fishing 
Spears um, several months ago. And hi, Theobald. Hello there. Hello there. All right, so here's a, a bow, which you know, I don't need the boots. F, F. The fishing spear we're going to hold on to, even though it's worth a nice chunk of change. Sell that. Oh, salted meat. Ugh. Look. Sell an arrows. Buy that. Buy that. I don't need another pair of trousers. These are 100%. Cha-ching. Uh, we may well have just paid for what I want, which, okay, we have options. We're going to see what it, bronze scythe. 620 durability is 819 coins and then the iron scythe is probably 1200 it's w w w what 860 what what in the ass 620 819 for 620 are you guys tracking are you picking up what I'm putting down here 819 for 620 durability, that means 620. Um, so when you're using the scythe or the sickle, each farm tile of grain, whatever it is, if it's oat, rye, wheat, or flax, I think you got to use these for uh, po uh, poppies as well. Each tile has four subtiles. So you may have noticed that when I was clearing it. And there'd be like one, it's like three would clear out and then there'd be one sitting there. So each one, so every single tile is, uh, it takes four durability off the tool. Okay. So that's how those work. So 819 coins for 620 durability or for the price of 884 coins. I think somebody messed this up and I ain't going to say nothing. You can get 860 durability. I think I'll take that. Thank you. Please drive through. By the way, you got some more iron bolts? How many iron bolts do I have? I don't have too many iron bolts. I got, oh, I got 27. Let's make that a nice even 30. Of course, I'll lose three of them on the way home. Um, yeah. You know what? I would like a nice hammer, though. 719. Give me a hammer. Mm. Thanks, bud. Smell you later. Suds lot. Oh my god, that guy sucks. He didn't know his ass from a hole in the wall. Dude, where's your freaking stats? Oh, you're nobody. You're Persona Non Grata. He's a villager. See, Bernadetta? Oh man, that's a cool name too. Bernadetta, what's up, girl? See the little figurine next to her? That means she um, is a person you can recruit. If there's no figurine, figurine next to their name, they're a villager. Radamilla. I like your name too. Okay, she's an average. Oh, she's a hunter type too. <gasps> what? Wait, 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 wait. Right in the middle. Hang on. Age 20. <gasps> guys, guys, look what we just. Yay! Look what we just did. We found a girlfriend for Cousin Swibor. Yes! Um, Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. So uh, let's let's small talk her, okay? Blah blah blah. How you know whatever. Whether cutting forest, whatever. How's your day going? Blah 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 blah. We don't care. Tell me about your skills, okay? I wish to make our forests and settlements coexist in harmony. I see hunting not only as a source of food but a way to preserve balance in the wild, okay? I wait. Okay, same answer. Same answer. She's going to change it. Ah, a fine craftswoman knows how to cook her food well too. You know what they say: the way to a person's heart is through their stomach. Boom. Guys, we have us a huntress and a cook. If I got a coin and we're matching her up with Swibor because she's 29 and he's 30. Swibor, and I like Radomilla. That's a cool name. Rad O. Milla. So we're going to bring her to the village to introduce to Swibor. That will put her in the same house with him so we don't have to build another house. Cha ching. All right. She's going to be a hunter, hunter, which we're a hunter too, but she's a cook. Okay, cool. All right, so here's how we've broken down. Uh, let's just, so if we say, does anything give you a hard time? 
Since direction is non-existent, bats can be full of mushrooms and herbs, and in the end, I have a hard time away finding back home. That means she sucks at survival stuff, and you just click this another. T- you just keep clicking it until you get different answers. I don't get along well with other people, which means she sucks at diplomacy. Okay, right? All right. So let's see go back. Around. So if I hit this, if I hit this, see, the threes are hunting and production, and then the ones are diplomacy and survival. Okay. Yeah, I, I am taken, but you know what? <laughs> so are you now. <laughs> hey, Cousin Swibor. Uh, let's assign her. Wait, wait, oh, wait, wait. We need to switch house he's in. Oh, he's going to be in the um, the only house we can assign him to. Assign her to. Because we can't put her in the same house with Nace Lawa, which is kind of dumb. But, I, I, and that, here's what's dumber about that. Is these clowns that program this, and I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call them clowns for a minute. Guys, dudes can't get pregnant. All right, maybe they can in 2024 because the doctors have done stuff to, you know, change them from a woman to a man. But in this age, dudes couldn't get pregnant. All right, straight up. But the, the issue is you can't put two dudes in the house. Or two chicks in the house. There's two separate beds. Why can't one of them sleep there and one sleep there and they'd just be friends? You know what I'm saying? We'll put her in the hunting lodge. She's going to be hunting. Hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Hi ho, chili ho. A hunting we will go. I like it. So now we have my wife's capable of working in the workshop. Neslawa my cousin can work as a seamstress in the sewing hut and Rada Milla is a cook. She'll be able to work in the kitchen sometime down the road. Awesome. Oh, we've already got someone in there. We've got someone in there with no assignments. Well, what? Oh no, that's her. <laughs> Dumbass. All right. So what we're going to do is actually have her bring in a little bit of meat per day. Okay, but more importantly, we want her to bring in leather. Because this is how much um, Neslawa needs to make um, um, no, the, this, this is the, okay, no, Autumn, this is still 2.0. We're just on the valley map, but we're still on the 2.0.2.4 build. So everything you see and, ha- and happens on the, the Oxbow map happens on this valley map as well. well. The villages have like more stuff. Anyway, so she'll be bringing in a leather that will then go into the sewing hut for uh, Neslawa to make bags and, yeah, bags with. Ha! Ha! I'm an experienced traveler. Okay. But a shy one. All right. So, like, if you run around the village and look around, there's more that, well, there should be. don't like the smell of fish. I could eat See, there's more stuff summer. that you can steal now. Hey, hand me a fish wine and I'll give See what I'm saying? This stuff wasn't just laying around previously that you see. There's the wood piles. And then there's the, the wash tub. You know, and then I imagine in people's or in the buildings here. Well, this is the uh, that's a builder's hut right there. See, you can steal more stuff now. So if you want to if you want to go that route, you can do it. All right. Weapons hot. Let's get back to the village. Oh, man, we're we're rolling along now. So let's go back here. And let's just look at the houses. So this is my house. Then this should be. Oh. This is Neslawa's house here. And then this is Cousin Swibor's house with Radamilla. And they are within the close range of age. Hooray and huzzah. Y'all have some fun with that, okay? Don't don't mind us. Dup, dup, nope. It happens, it happens. You don't have to put a gag ball in her mouth. Come on, man. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
Damn, A Train. Hey, you know something, people? If you looked at the video thing, it is not marked appropriate for children. Okay? Kids can watch if they want, but it doesn't say it's appropriate for them. Just saying. Uh, just because occasionally we may let something slip. How much? Um, damn, we got a lot of berries here. I forgot that I didn't drop those off. But that's okay. Because 300 berries means 300 uh, means 300 rot, which means 30 more fertilizer for next season. And that is enough for the rye field. Hmm. All right, so there is something we could do here, now that I think about it. How much money do I have? That's not enough. All right, we got to go make some more money and work our way to having... Um, I think... think therefore I am going to be nosy anybody see crashed carts there's a cart there that's not the crash okay that's that's a crashed cart but that's not what we're looking for okay so what I'm looking for here is this intersection right here Oh, look what we just found. Another fishing spear and mead. <gasps> nice find. Man, those are perfectly good wheels, too. All right, anyway, highwaymen can set up shop up on this, this path right here. All right, so if you come east out of Lesnica and come trucking up through here, be careful and watch for uh, dudes up in this area. All right? Because they will... Um, They'll jump your shiz and you will be like, oh, what the hell just happened? Now you'll be like, oh, damn, A-Train told me about this. Yeah, I did. I did, I did, I did. Now, there are wolves up on the hillside. Hear them? Fart knockers. And now they're coming after you quieter than before. So we got to be a little bit cautious. I think I feel like they've expanded their uh, range of uh, their spawn point too. We've had piggies pursue us further than I expected, and wolves attack us. All right, you know what? Let's grab some more while we're at it. And berries are pretty useless when it comes to like a f to a food, but. I suppose if we wanted, we could make porridge with berries. It's 19 on the list. But we have to build, no, we don't have to build a kitchen for that. We do have to unlock the recipe. But um, you know what else we have to do? Here's what we have to do. Let's go back to that list. And you guys can contemplate that list. No, you can't contemplate that list because we're going to put this up on the screen here for a second. Right there. All right. I shall be back guys chit chat amongst yourself if you're lurking in the uh in the uh chat there say hi don't be shy we got a great group of people here watching the show and they're really friendly so uh say hi check in wherever you are let us know do you play the game uh you know enjoy it and whatever i'll be back in just a minute though everybody take a bathroom break get something to drink i'll be back
I still got a bottle of water sitting next to me, so I don't need to make a water stop. But, <coughs> I do need to drink some of the water, though. Holy crap. Did seriously we just go from, like, eight people watching to three? Which means two? Jesus. That's crazy. Oh, so anyway, well, maybe they'll come back. I thought I looked down and saw eight people watching, which I know I'm one of because it's on my laptop and I play on my desktop. All right, that's the right deal. This is the left deal. Untangle that. All right, there we go. Uh, Yeah, here's the problem, though. Even on this map, you, have you not seen what's happened to me? Trying that approach? The freaking wolves flank you. Sucks. It's hard as hell. All right, let me see if... Oh, sweet. Wait, let me not... Let me not... Hang on. <laughs> let me not laugh yet. I am laughing, but I don't want to laugh yet. Please. Okay, okay, shoo. All right, Alabama's up 17 at the half. Auburn freaking lost. <laughs> oh, suck it, Auburn, you jerk-offs. Who did they lose to? They lost to some schlub. Where's their freaking bracket? Who did they lose to? I can't. Oh, they lost to Yale. <laughs> How do you lose a basketball game to a bunch of chess players? <laughs> God, Auburn. <laughs> Never change. God, y'all suck. All right. I'm not sure what's the uh, recipe for porridge with berries. Anybody know off the top of their head? Because I guess that would be an option, but it's still, I mean, it might be an option for us to make for our villagers, but I still don't think that the food selection affects their mood you know what i'm saying i don't think it affects the mood of the villagers it should but i also think the food system needs to be more like uh farthest frontier where you have to have a variety and they don't just freaking you know if you have 10 loaves of bread you know everybody bum rushes 10 loaves of bread no you need to have some meat some vegetables you know stuff like that like on uh farthest frontier you got to kind of have a balanced diet of stuff there. 600. What time is it? 20. Oh, we, gosh, I don't want to be out all night. But I guess we could. Our wife may still be pissed at us. We could say we're escorting Swy, Swybor's new girl in. Bird? Damn it. We're combat escort. Now I've heard there can be a bad guy camp in this area. I've never seen it. I don't know if somebody maybe mistook it for the one that's over there with the pikes and stuff that I have seen. I'm going to see if we get lucky. Can we get lucky? Move, stinking badgers. We don't need you. We don't need no stinking badgers. We keep stupid wolves. All right. Move, bird. All right, nope. We were looking for like a, a lumber, a log cutting thing here would have given us a nice axe I'm pretty thrilled though we got us a good hammer and a good sickle or scythe excuse me scythe so since we're performing combat escort we might as well combat escort and scout ahead right this is where a lot of people like to build their um, villages. 
is in this flat area over here. I'm just looking along the riverbank here for free stuffs because they put free stuffs along the riverbank. Where's that camp over there? She's lagging behind, so that's okay. She'll catch up to us. We have yet to find this camp here. That kind of sucks. Pick some more dandelions while I'm here. Sure. I don't want to mess with the wolves at night. If you can't get a clean headshot, you're pretty well screwed. All right, there she is. All right, we're looking for... Bad guy's right there. Nope. No one's at the bridge. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick jog across here and run to the right and look for the fishing camp. Go kill a bear with an axe. How about no? Yeah, no. I <laughs> No thanks. I'll take the zero. And the fishing camp is not here. Damn. Damn. Why'd you grab 60 straw, eh, train? Because that's how many straw it takes to make two flat straw hats. And those sell good. All right, where's our girl? Is she way ahead of us? Or nope, she's ahead of us. Okay. We don't get spooked by her. That'd be stupid. Oh, God, what are those footsteps? <gasps> oh, that's Swibor's new girlfriend. I really wish they remodeled this river bank along here. This is just kind of rough. This here is nice. And you can stumble across some lost crap in here. Oh, bad guys, bad guys, bad guys. Vampire, vampire, vampire. Here we go, kids. All right, night engagement. Uh, is there going to be a shooter? We can't flank too far to the right. There's wolves in the woods. Oh, they got pikes too. Shit, so they got cover. Assholes, where are you? All right, let's back up for a second here. And unfortunately, oh, you know what? Here, <laughs> that's much better. Yeah, let's stand behind the big fat tree. That would be smart. No, nope, that's not what we need. All right, <laughs> let's eat a little something before we go into combat here, shall we? I think we shall. Don't want to go into combat on an empty stomach. Okay. You know something? I like this idea. They're not going to go after our girl. They'll come after us. We're defiled to them here. 
shit. No, I didn't think that through very good, did I? We could save it for a daytime engagement. But what fun would that be? Right? Okay, so clearly I got around them. Anytime there's a campfire, there's bad guys. Okay? Just be aware of that. You know what? While we're here, <laughs> let's get some more healing stuffs. Probably plantain would be better. Oh, there's some. <laughs> there's a whole crap ton of it right here. Honey, why were you out all night? Well, I found Swibor a girlfriend. I had to escort her home. And we came across some bad guys. Why is she going through the water? That's peculiar. You know what? I'm going to go in the water too because I'm going to get clean. I don't go into combat dirty either. Hygiene is the first thing that goes to shit when you're in the field. Okay. So we've got trees. There's the wheat. Anything else over here or is it just that? Okay, there's the campfire. Now, the benefit of attacking from this side, first off, we're on the direction to run home. Second, there are no th aggressive threats. There's piggy way over there, but there's moose. That's the closest thing. I just get spooked by myself. Only problem is there's a lot of bushes here. I don't know. Oh, there's one right there. Well, there was one. <laughs> you like me now, bitches. Just took your buddy out. Hey, Bob, what do you think of that joke? Uh, whoops. I don't think anything of it. Hey, stand right there. Hey, and no, I said, stand right there, asshole. How do you like me now, bitch? That's how you do that. Crossing shot. One shot, one kill. You know what that's called? Gun control. Why, yes, A-Train, that's correct. What's up, asshole? Hey, you dropped... Oh, you didn't even... My bolt didn't even freaking punch your head through. Was there only two of them? Color me disappointed. You got a shooter back here? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously. I'm Sassy, you guys. Anyone else? Okay, let me check your buddy over here. Honey, where were you all night? Well, I don't know. Shooting the breeze. Shooting the bandits, you know. Two closer missiles are switching to guns. Hello? Oh, dude, your spear looks a little effed up. Can I have my bolt back, please? Thank you. Two shots, two kills, weapons recovered. That's a rarity. Oh, another bucket. We can use, oh, we can use that, too. And this, 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 this. Oh, well, by the way, there's 76 coins. This, 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 this. Thank you, dickhead. And give me that. And give me that. What's in this? I'll take the coins, too. Sure. What else you got around here, a-hole? <laughs> got the dog's attention, did I? It's funny. I was at my customer's house today, and they have a cute little um, a little dog named, Ma well, it's either Maddie or Maggie, and I'm not sure which. And I'm like, what, you 
dog is confused on what its name is? <laughs> Dumbasses. <laughs> that seems stupid. So, yeah. Um, anyway, these are so cool. Check this out. Boink. Ah, uh, you like that, people. Two shots, two kills. Expert marksman badge for me, especially with that second one. This was a shot at range. I deserve extra points for that. And then this guy, oh, I laid that shot right into doink. You know, ooh, Bullwinkle. Oh, shoot, I can't get Bullwinkle. I'm already overloaded as it is. We can go check. Anyway, cute little dog. And the dog, like, walks up to me and sniffs me and lets me pet it. And the woman is just astounded. She's like, it doesn't do that. It doesn't let anybody do that. You don't know me. I'm just saying. You don't know me. Let's see if we can get the pike while we're here, too. Wouldn't you rather be a fish? Are we going to get lucky? Are we going to get lucky? No. Pile of stones, shovel, coin pouch with 200 uh, coins. Not today. All right, let's see if we can find the pike. All right, where are you clowns? I feel like I'm too far away from the spawn point, but I really shouldn't be. Yeah, we're looking like right at it. Thank you, Robin. Very kind of you to say. I try. Are you not entertained? All right, Shathids, where are you? Here's the thing. You can hold your breath underwater indefinitely, which is a little weird to me, but whatever. If it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid, right? Come on. Excuse me. The schools of fish are smaller on here, though. They didn't up the number like they did on um, Oxbow. We should have seen them by now. This is kind of crazy. Looking for shadows. Pike are big. Ah, oh, screw you, hippies.
up. All right, let's go back to the house. Swipe boys me like, uh, who's this strange woman walking into my house? Well, <laughs> meet your new girlfriend. Henbane. Let's grab some insane in the henbane. I would say that engagement with those two bandits was about as successful as it could have been. <clears throat> I don't know what y'all think. Smash that like button if you like that engagement. Make sure you guys uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. And we appreciate you uh, supporting the Texas Valor Project helps uh, veterans with traumatic brain injuries and uh, in lieu of a donation to help support the channel this week we'd ask for you to make a donation to texasvalorproject.com and put it in my uh, on behalf of Sandy Amick that's my mom who passed last Friday night uh, actually um Four minutes from now. So it's been a week since my mom died. I know dread. It's it's okay. It's it's. I gotta freaking figure out this crap with. Um. Uh, with Google. All right, let's dump off the stuff since we are combat heavy. And, well, I guess we'll roll into this day. Oh, yeah, th that's a lot of it right there. Get buckets. We need to go fill that up. Firewood. That's a good thing. Fishing spears. Good thing. We have a bunch. We have four fishing spears. <laughs> uh, Hindane, we can dump that off. We don't need that. We don't need 56 dandelions. We don't really need 29 daisies. We don't really need 64 broadleaf plantain. Uh, cheese, grommet. Cheese is going to be ours. All right. This we can drop here. These we can go sell. Um, this we can drop here. That we can sell. Um, that we'll put in with the community supply that we can drop here, that we can drop here. We have wheat in here. No, but this is an acceptable place to drop it. Wooden spear we can sell. Copper knife should go in the hunting lodge. There's three buckets here. That's good. Let's take that. Clay. There's a bag. That's great. Let's take that. Flat straw hat. We need to sell that. Actually, we need to swap. Or is that my flat straw hat? No. We're going to we're gonna wear this one and we're going to sell that one. Um, we got linen th fabric and linen thread. That's good. Moose skull. We can sell those. Plum wine, we can sell that. We'll hold the small wicker basket. It's not really worth much anyway. The stone axe, we can throw in with the other stuff. Wheat beer, we can sell. Okay. 
And the fishing spears, when we build a fishing uh, hut, we can put those in there. I don't think so. All right, so what goes in here? The bag goes in here. The iron scythe goes in here. We're actually coming back to do that here in a second. Before we go sell all this crap, we want to reallocate things where they need to be. Uh, oh, well, first we got to go fill the buckets up with water. Is it closer? This way. And we're going to get the scythe out. We're going to clear out the flax, take care of that. Uh, REF. And then REF. No, just click. Okay, cool. All right. So we can dump some of this weight off. Okay, so that gives us more buckets to work with. Very good. Copper knife needs to go up in the hunting lodge. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. All right, let's see here. Uh, so the hunting lodge, let me go put this copper knife up there. And that'll get that out of our hands. That's a 99% copper knife, that's not bad. Oh, so inventory switches, let's do this. So we got that to sell. Let's consolidate these. Oh, wow, it's amazing. We had combat on the return trip and s made it home with the full allotment of <laughs> ammunition. <laughs> That's rare. Uh, okay, 58. The smaller the village, the more work for... Yes, but that's the point. Let's go around. Okay, so now we're going to clear the rest of this flax out. Seven. Let's see if we can get this positioned right. About oh, you know what? I think actually we can do this better from a third person view. Wow. Hell yeah, that's how you clear this stuff out, people. Get her done. Oops, that's the one right under our feet. See, we're already down like 20% on the scythe. <laughs> we'll be able to use that on the rye and um, whatever else. Sweet, excellent. Okay, so now. Let's think about this real quick. Whoop, nope, barn. Sweet. Okay. Now she's got that to work with. All right, flax seeds. I didn't put any in here, did I? Mm, yes. I did. <clears throat> Do I have any extra flax? 
Just that one, 426 flax stalks. I think that'll take her a minute to work with. She'll be busy. All right. Now we're starting to get comfortable. So here's what we're going to do. What just happened? I didn't want the bag. With the flax seeds. And we're going to keep 120 so we can release 103. Wow, that was a good click right there. Damn, I'm shooting pretty good tonight. Maybe I should go buy a lottery ticket. So, yeah. Autumn's 5-1. Talking about the dogs still. So, okay. So anyway, uh, yeah, if you uh, if you haven't been here, it has been exactly one week and five minutes since my mother passed. So uh, I, I really appreciate your supporting the channel with a like. Uh, if you share, you subscribe, that's great. Uh, you can make a donation to support the channel. We have our PayPal link in the description below. However, um, in through this weekend, we're still going to continue working to support the Texas Valor Project. Uh, which is an outfit that's a nonprofit here in the area um, who uh, they help support veterans with rehabilitation who have suffered uh, traumatic brain injuries. So if you'd like to send a donation uh, in my mother's name, there's a link in the description below with her name, and uh, we greatly appreciate you helping support them. Um, but, yeah, last Friday night at this point, we were saying goodbye and walking out of the room. So... It was, I, I, you know, I, I don't want this to sound melancholy collie or anything. Um, it would, it was, if I detach myself from the emotion, it was just kind of a fascinating experience. I don't know, that may sound weird. Wait a minute, flex, I went to inventory. Oh, I actually went the wrong way with those numbers. I want to transfer 120. Um, so it'd be kind of there-ish. So anyway, I learned something through that process. and uh, But uh, yeah, everything's going to be okay. Just got to get my dad through. So I got to call him tomorrow and check on him. All right. So now we got all this to sell. And... I shoot, I'm getting a little confused here on which which way do I go? Uh, do I want to go to Gustovia and sell stuff? The thing is, oh, wait a minute, let me take care of this. I was going to demonstrate something to you guys, a little um, quick, like, oops, I screwed up kind of situation, but I can just explain it just as well, I think. Or did I already? No, it's in the barn. Okay. If you go and buy animals, you just assign them to the animal pen and they appear there, okay? If said animal pen does not have any animal feed in it, however, you can get a master idiot alert saying, hey, your animal pen doesn't have any animal feed in it. Okay, a little thing in the upper left-hand corner. Well, so if you hadn't thought in advance to come put animal feed in here, which this isn't going to be much, it's only 33%. Okay, but that's better than none. If you forgot to come put some in the trough or in the basket thing, whatever. What all you need to do, as long as it's in resource storage in the barn, didn't do me any good. I was screwed for that. So that would have really made my demonstration look stupid. It's got to be in resource storage. All you got to do is take a villager and assign them to the animal pen. And they will then put the food in in there and take care of feeding the animals and then you can reassign them back to whatever job you had them in. You know what I'm saying? If you want $100 million, what would you do with it? Besides pay off bills. Um, that's a great question. So let me put us in a uh, pause here for a second. What would, you, what would I do with $100 million besides pay off bills? And probably help you know family members pay off bills or whatever. Um, for one, I would probably 
move my dad to a smaller, more appropriate home for him right now. So aside from taking care of family, let's just eliminate all that together. Uh, I would make a donation to my cousin's church. Oh, yes, Lee, yes, we, yeah, Lee, Lee does get a chunk of it. That We've had that agreement for several years now. <laughs> yeah, this is true. I forgot about that. Uh, she's lurking, and all of a sudden money comes up. It's like, oh, yeah, he's going to split it with me. Wait, what? <laughs> um. I would uh, make a donation of probably a million dollars or so to my cousin's church in Ohio. Um, I would buy some land out in the away from civilization with uh, just a single story home, but with a full basement that's like nuclear protected. <laughs> Not that I would expect a you know direct strike or anything if I were you know out in the country um, but I uh, um, basically I want like a bug out location away from humanity and uh, but I would like to have enough property to let my uh, the guys from Dallas Area Rocket Society to come out and fly rockets and we do high power and at least have a ceiling of 10,000 feet. That would be super cool. And we don't have to go to 20,000 feet. 10,000 feet would be sufficient. Um, I would uh, get a motor coach, not a huge one, just one big enough for like two people. And then they have like a little, you know, towable vehicle with it because, you know, you go somewhere and you, you want something you can detach and drive around town and whatever. Does that make sense? Um, and uh, travel around the country, go to air shows, model train shows, visit museums and stuff, rocket launches, uh, just travel the country. That'd be fun. But now one year, I would want to follow the Formula One Grand Prix Championship. So I'd want to go basically boom, 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 boom. Or at least to most of the races. But I, I, that would be super cool to travel all the, to around to the Formula One races. In particular, I mean, now let's set, limit it down to, say, five. Not counting Circuit of the Americas here in Austin, because that's like three hours down the road. Spa Frankershamp, which is Belgium, definitely go in there. And that would be in August as part of my European tour. So my I would finally get my World War II European trip. And I can describe that in detail if you want. Um, Suzuka, Japan. Definitely going back to Japan. Um, Monte Carlo. Got to go to Monaco. Silverstone, Britain. And where else would I go? Um... I don't know if I want to go to Sao Paulo, Brazil. That one would be interesting. Australia would be interesting. I've never been to Australia, so maybe Australia. Maybe the Australian Grand Prix. I wouldn't count Canada, Mexico, or, um, you know, the ones here in the United States. That'd be easy enough to get to. Train for the island. You know what? You, with that much money. Okay. All right. Yeah, I mean, I could I could get my own like locomotive and passenger car and sleeper car stuff and probably afford to like take a train trip around the country. Um No, I don't want to participate in the race. I'd rather watch. I want a paddock pass, I want to meet the, you know, you, you, at that point then you're hoity-toity walking around, you know, cuz you're a multimillionaire. So you can rub shoulders with all the fancy people and all that shit. Not Because I'm not a fancy person, guys. I drive a freaking Chevy Traverse. I drive a Volvo, a beige one. So why don't you cut me some freaking slack? Um, I'm more comfortable in shorts and t-shirt. I was in the suit the other day for the funeral. And it, I mean, it may look good, but it's just not me. It's not my style. I'm a pretty simple guy. I want to do model trains. I'd like to do rockets. I like to play pool. Um... 
would like to travel. Want to work on my? Oh, wait a minute. Okay, here, here's another thing. Here's the only. Here's the other thing. And I don't think I would get a jet, though a jet would be smart. But I'm a C-130 Hercules guy, so I might get a C-130J Hercules, brand new one off the line, Lockheed Martin. Um, here's what, something that's definitely on my list. Up here in Frisco, about 10 miles up the road from me, is the Museum of the American Railroad. And they've got their collection all set up, but they, have, they don't have the funding to fully build out their site. And they, their plan is to build like a terminal, which is a stub-in terminal. So there's tracks that come into the terminal, straight into it, okay? And then they're going to have all their different stuff on display and whatever. So I want to see their, their building design, and I want to fund the building and put two additional floors on it for me. Those two floors are for me, okay? Tell me what you want in this thing. Carte blanche, guys, boom. We're putting whatever you want in this museum. You guys want tools. You want a roundhouse. You want that, 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 that. Build it. Get, show me the design. But I want two floors on the museum. One of those floors is going to be for me specifically to have a workshop and for me to build, and my buddy Steven and anybody else interested to build the J Project, which is a scale model of the Tokyo Rail System. The other floor would be, eh, air quote, rented out or leased out to local model railroad clubs who don't have a, a home and need a place or want a place to come set up shop. So they can set up their train set up and then they can play trains and then th that would be another attraction to the museum is the museum wouldn't have to worry about having model trains there because the model trains would be there. So museum focus on being a museum and let the model railroaders create the attraction in terms of model trains. So that'd be a whole floor and it'd be sectioned off, you know, so that the, the groups could secure it. And, you know, there would be like a more or less a, a permanent workspace down on one end and there'd be a freight elevator so you could get lumber and stuff or modules up and back and because they'll, they'll take layout stuff and take it to shows when they do like the Plano train show and stuff like that. So, yeah, that'd probably be a couple million of it, maybe upwards of 10. I don't think it would be enough, but maybe I could get an interest. And then there's two other things I'm interested in doing. One is building a big hotel that would be a Star Trek experience hotel where you walk into it, you're checking in with Starfleet Command. Everybody's in uniform or costume, dressed up like an alien or whatever. Okay. And you are basically, then you go into a transporter or a shuttlecraft and you take this little bumpy ride up to, and it's like a, 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 a four-dimensional ride, and you take a ride up to your ship, okay? So you come in one door, you go out a different door, boom. And next thing you know, you're on the ship. And then you've got to go to the turbo lifts to find to get to your rooms. And then everything on inside the hotel is modeled to look like you're on board a starship from Star Trek. Okay? And uh, you do that. And what the hell? Why is this on my... Why is that on my screen? Okay, that was weird. All right, so anyway, um, so everything is modeled on a starship. If you want to go toward the engine room, you go toward the engine room. If you want to go to 10 forward. Now, understand something. When you check into this and you board your ship, you are in an isolated environment for the duration of your stay. The windows in your room will show the stars passing by or the planet that you're in orbit over. It will not show the outside world. And then there will be these domes outside that are different habitats of different planets that you beam down to. And there would be a RISA, which would be like a beach-like planet, and there would be like a wave pool and a beach 
and it'd very be very tropical and you could rent bungalows overlooking the beach and then kind of like in Hunger Games, you know how they were like in a big dome? Um, and uh, so the sky would be projected on the ceiling effectively, right? And then you would see like an alien star passing over or whatever because of this different star system. So basically it would be a fully immersive experience of traveling to another world. It would put the star, the, the star Wars experience in just to shame because it would be this much more in depth. And I will say this, I took my business and professional speaking class over 10 years ago at Collin College. And this was the project I did for our group. And so we presented it, we got an A. This was before Galaxy's Edge even came to exist. So screw you, Star Wars. I had the better idea first. All right, enough of that Willy Fufu stuff. Oh, the one other thing I was thinking about, and it would probably take more than 100 million, let's say if we push this up to a billion. Um, um, yes, diesel, modern, modern, they're called diesel electric engines. There's electric engines, which uh, have pantographs, and they uh, reach up and touch cantonary wire unless they're third wheel. Uh, or third rail, um, power comes in through that and it drives the electrical engines which drive the wheels. But your modern freight engine uh, engines are diesel electric. So there's a diesel engine that drives a generator or an alternator depending on if it has DC or AC traction motors on the axles. Do you want to know more? <laughs> I know a thing or two about trains. I'm sitting here, turn, I look to my right, there's my ES44AC, Norfolk Southern N scale, locomotive box. Here's NS1074, NS8103, NS8101, NS8100. There's my GP30B and 6969 chassis system. There's my 1369 uh, GP40 from Norfolk Southern. Those are HO. And then to my left, there's this table here, which has one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. There's probably forty in scale locomotives here, about six feet away from me. So I know a thing or two about trains too. I know a thing or two about Star Trek and rockets and space and history and cars and I just I, I love learning. That's just me. That's that's my deal. That's my jam. I what I'm trying to figure out here is why Radamilla is only twenty seven percent happiness. She's in a deeds Oh, I know. Oh. Cause we just brought her in and at the beginning of the season, remember, there was a rainbow and everybody's happiness went up ten percent. That's why. Okay. That explains it. All right, I think we're ready to go get piggies. So I think we're going to have to make the trip back over there unless I go Uber it, which I suppose I could just go to Denica and then Uber over. That would make sense. That would be kind of cheap because I just made the run from over there anyway. And we'll go get a couple of piggies and some animal feed. All right, back on the road. And then for day three, which I don't know if we're going to play day three or not. How long have I been streaming? Two hours and 30 minutes. That figures. Yep, two and a half hours already. Uh, no, there. Thank you. Um, that's why I put summer... Or spring, summer plus, because I thought maybe we'd go into autumn. Um, I got to get back and plant the cabbage. So, yeah. So today's objectives are to go get, sell stuff, go get piggies. Make sure we've got sufficient animal feed, because come autumn, we'll harvest the oats. And then we'll have enough stuff to um, make animal feed.
How heavy are we? Close to. Damn it, how did I miss him? I was locked on too. Oh, nope, missed him. Clean miss. We'll come back. You know, I do have a bone to pick with you blockheads. Where are they? There you are. I hear you. Okay, he's going to come walking out of the bushes, and that's what sucks. I don't have IFF right now, so I don't know where he is. There he is. Come here. I want to show you how to save 15% on your car insurance by switching to GEICO. <clears throat> come on. Come on. For frack's sake, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, now you're going to move fast. Now, nope, nope, you're slowed down. Come on. A little closer. I'll do, pig. My bolt back. Have a good night, Lee. Thanks for uh, stopping by and spending some time with us. Make sure to hit that like button before you go. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Dum -da dum 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 dum. I was educating my new uh, customer today. Customers, um, since they're new here to Texas from Joyzy, about some of the things like going to Bucky's and you know Torchy's Tacos and Whataburger. Um, Definitely have the best. How do you do? Yeah, but you don't have much money. All right, we're going to sell you this. Sell you as much of this as I can. Oh, she bought all of it. Okay. I'm going to hold on to the leather. Sell you that. Sell you that. Sell you these. Um, I schooled them on um, things that are good to know. Sell her the good torch. Oh, shoot. I meant to put one of these in, um, well, sell it a more expensive one. Okay, cool. So long. Uh, let me go over here and check in with um, Matilda. Hello. My wares never disappoint. That and that. Okay, we're keeping that. Good there. Okay there. Sure. Okay. That'll do. Oh, shoot. I still... Gosh, dang it. Good I didn't luck. put the berries down. Okay. Um. So, anyway. Oh, you know what? We're going to... We're going to Uber over. And then we'll probably, we may Uber back to Gustovia, depending on how much money we spend. Hello there. Hello there. Take me to Rolnica. All right, let's get piggies. But first, let's get some extra food for them. And this lady may have that. Ermina, we haven't met before. What are you talking to me like I'm your friend? So we need at least 20. That's expensive. All right, let's see how much the piggies are. Goodbye. All right, one male, one female. 585, holy shnikey. Now, we, we could get the little ones. The price on these has gone up. Okay, here we go, gang. You know what time it is. 
You know what time it is? You know what time it is? What time is it, people? How is life treating you? Well, pretty good, except you just ripped me off for a freaking bunch of money. Okay, that'll do for now. That's a little more uh, Goodbye. food. We're going to have to hoof it back, though. All right. You know what that means. You know what that means. We have a male and a female pig to name. Sir oinks a lot. Something like that. Let me see if I can find my list that we've used before. Uh, oh, wait. It's right here. Let me see if we have any interesting ones. Nope, nope, nope. That's a cow name. Cow name, sheep name, sheep name. Squawking. Stephen Squawking. Gregory Peck. That's chicken names. Russell Crowe's. That's a chicken name. Okay. We need to go to the pig names. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay. So, oh, so, do you know what? Douchebags. That's what it is. Freaking Google signed me out on my laptop. So ridiculous. Like, why do you keep signing me out, dickheads? It ticks me off. Okay, so now we're back up. All right, very good. Um, right, there. All right, so let's pull up the list of funny pig names, funny celebrity pig names. All right, so nobody, uh, so people thought the train thing was neat and all that, but nobody said, well, people, I guess somebody said something about uh, Star Trek. I thought that was a cool idea. Oh, it's William Shatner's birthday today. All right, cool. <laughs> Buy on him a PC, huh? Now, I still got that computer up here on my screen. $1,569. Let me just uh, refresh it here. Nope, $1,569.99. It's sitting on my screen here. No, I don't want to sign in. All right, funny... Um, Pop culture, okay, scarymommy.com, pop culture pig names. All right, so there's pop culture pig names, and then cute names. We don't care about cute names. We want select, we don't want food based. Okay, here are some, oh. Okay, here we go. This is a good list. I should have said that like Dak Prescott. Here we go. All right, you ready? So we need some names. Uh, let me go through the list here, and we're gonna we're gonna vote on the hog first. So let's. What should we name our hog? All right. So let me find some names here on the list. Of course, there's uh, this one's a given. And then let me see what we got. Oh, that's that, that that's a good one that's kind of funny that, that's actually pretty funny too I really like this one that's good okay good we had another option here um
That's a good one. And then one more. Well, that's not even, they didn't even change his name. John Ham, H-A-M-M. <laughs> that's the guy's name. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. We've got two rap names. We got two rapper names on here. There might be more, but those are the two I'm seeing off the top of my head. All right, so I I want to pick one of these to throw on the list. All right, so uh, you know what? We'll save that. I I want to save this website because this one's a good. This is a good website. Bookmark current tab. No, I don't need it in trains. Just need it in the bookmarks tool. Bookmarks menu. Sure. We're going to go with this one. Okay. Here it is. Start the poll. All right. Here's our four options. Piggy names. Kevin Bacon, Albert Swinstein, Ham Solo, or the Notorious P.I.G. So vote now. And your vote is anonymous, so if you're just lurking, you don't have to put your name out there or anything. So pick the ones you think, uh, pick, what should we name our hog, our male pig? Kevin Bacon, Albert Swinstein, Ham Solo, or the Notorious P.I.G.? That's pretty funny. There's good ones on this list. I like it. They've got, they've got some other ones here. Peter Porker, Elvis Pigsley, Tommy Hilpiger, Hammable Elector, Jimmy Hamdrix. John Ham, mention that. These are the male names that aren't on. We're not currently available. We can use them later. Sydney Porquier, Piggy Smalls, Chew Bacon, Jimmy Dean. That's the guy's name. Gordon Hamsey, Ham Beasley. Okay, I'm not getting that one. All right, so make sure to vote. Vote early, vote often. Everybody get your votes in now. We've got two votes so far. One for Albert Ein Swinstein, Swinstein, and one for the Notorious P.I.G. So if you're lurking, come on, people. That means there's four of y'all watching. Two of you have voted. So all you got to do is click on something. It won't hurt you. Oh, we got to vote for Kevin Bacon. Uh-oh. I'm surprised Ham Solo's lagging behind. All right, three votes. Who's going to break the tie? 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 We got Oh, we got more people watching. Hey, we're having a poll right now. So vote in the poll. It's free. All right. What should we name our pig? This is our male pig. Kevin Bacon. Oh, nope. Nope. Wait. Kevin Bacon. Whoop. Yep. Yep. Ham Solo. Kevin Bacon. We got five votes now. That means somebody hasn't voted who's watching. You can make all the difference. Your vote counts. All right. Your vote counts. So if we have five votes on the board, and I know that means one person has not voted who's watching. You're anonymous. We don't know who you are. So. Oh, Autumn's back. Can Hey, vote in the poll, Autumn, if you haven't voted yet. Steve-O voted. Hooray. Steve-O's here. Hey. Welcome aboard. How are you this evening? All right. We're running out of time here, people. I ain't got all night to do this. Been going for almost three hours now. All right, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon is looking like the name it's going to be. 
And it's not going to be the notorious P.I.G. All right, 20 seconds, which means 30 seconds from the point when I said that. So then I got to start prepping. Let me pick out some uh, female names here. That's one. Uh, that's one. That's one. And that'll be the other. Oh, that one will be the other one. Got Amy Swinehouse on here, and I'm just like, <laughs> why don't you just go on down to the slaughterhouse? I ain't going to rehab. I'm going to wind up killing myself. I think she's a freaking idiot, but she's dead, so whatever. Okay, Kevin Bacon is going to be the winner. Kevin Bacon is going to be our piggy name. Okay. So the hog is going to be Kevin Bacon. Okay, so that brings us to our female pig. So let me prepare the poll here. What shall we name our female pig? All right, let me pull the list back up here. The website. All right, so we got uh, one. There's two. I like this one. There's three. And one more. What was it going to be? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? It was. Oh, here we are. Did I, did I get that right? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Start the poll. All right. Here we go, folks. Vote in the poll. What should we name our female pig? Hamela Anderson? Jennifer Lopig? Piggy Azalea? Or Natalie Porkman. I think those are pretty good names. Hamable Lecter, that's pretty good. I guess I could do Hamable Smith for that matter. Dun 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 dun. dun. There were a couple of female names. Well, there were well, there was four. I left off the list. Didn't do Lindsay Loham. Didn't do Heather Hawk, Hocklear. Didn't do the aforementioned Amy Swinehouse. And didn't do Beatrix Trotter. Beatrix? Well, and I'm not sure what Ham Beasley. Pam Beasley? I don't know who that, I don't, I don't get that reference. I get most of these. All right. Let's vote, people. Vote, 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 vote. Your vote is... Um, anonymous. So vote in the poll on what we're going to name our pig. Wow, really? Hunt for October? I would have liked to have seen Montana. I I loved Hunt. My mom read Hunt for October when I was in high school, and I saw it, and I was like, can I read that before you return to the library, please? And I was a Tom Clancy fan from that day forward. Red Storm Rising was the next book. That was my favorite and still is. And I have most of his books on hardback. So, all right. We got four votes. We got eight people watching, which means we have three people who have not voted. You're on your phone and wanted Natalie Porkman. So does that mean you, you were not able to cast a, a vote? Hunt for October was was a really I really enjoyed the movie, I thought it was great. Really enjoyed the book. It was an easy read. It was a good Clancy. I mean, it put Clancy on the map. Dude was an insurance salesman, and the research he did on non classified stuff to write that book got the U.S. government intelligence community all up in arms because they thought he had inside information. All right, four votes. That means uh, three of y'all still need to vote. 
Can't vote. Okay, Autumn, so you you can't vote, but you want Natalie Forkman? All right, so that means we got three. Uh, wait. So there's four votes. There's two for Hamela. Okay, so right now we have a tie between Hamela Anderson and Natalie Porkman, two each, and one for Piggy Azalea. So if you haven't voted yet, please vote. Um, I think my favorite line from that movie, uh, you've probably heard it, heard me say it how many times here on the channel. Russian son, don't take a dump without a plan. That was, was that Joe Don Baker? No, Fred Thompson, Admiral aboard, uh, ostensibly aboard the carrier Enterprise, but Enterprise was assigned to the Pacific Fleet, so it sounded good. But All right, we're wrapping this up, people. Someone's dropping away. Vote in the, vote in the poll. So we have two votes each for Natalie Porkman and Hamela Anderson, and we have one vote for Piggy Azalea. <clears throat> so it means one person watching has not voted. So please vote. Oh, that would be, wait, two, four, five. Oh, no, everybody's voted now. If you haven't voted, please vote. So we have a tie effectively, and we're going we're gonna to do a tie-breaking vote. Somebody just jumped on, so make sure to jump, vote in our poll. What are we going to name our pig? Hamela Anderson, Jennifer Lopig, Piggy Azalea, or Natalie Porkman? We have two votes for... Hamela Anderson and two votes for Natalie Porkman. One vote for Piggy Azalea. So whoever just jumped in, you could be the tiebreaker. You could be the person who determines who, what we named the Piggy. Jack Ryan. I just write, I'm an analyst. I write books for the CIA. Analyst? I was really, I, I liked Harrison Ford in the, in the role, but he was old at that point. I mean, he was kind of old. You know what I'm saying? I think the Jack Ryan TV series, though completely off base from the books for the most part, um, has been really good. I still haven't finished the, the final season yet. Um, but they, they bollocksed a couple of things up seriously. One, the biggest gripe I have is... Greer um, being a Muslim. There was never any indication of that. F first off, second, he wasn't a spook. He was an admiral. He was Navy. So I don't think he was ever a field operative. So. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end the poll and we're going to relaunch Natalie Porkman and Hamela Anderson. So we're going to do another. We're going to do it again. Tie break vote. The female pig. Pamela Anderson or shoot, what was the oh Natalie Portman? So vote now. Poll is up. There we go. You guys will see it here in a couple of seconds. And while you guys get ready and vote in the poll, gosh dang it, why does it keep doing that? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Look at the votes bouncing back and forth here. Make sure you vote in the poll. Come on, this is audience participation, gang. It's anonymous. No one's going to see you if you're out there lurking. It's not going to trigger anything. All right, stars are winning. That's good. Alabama is going to win. That's good. All right. Roll Tide. Moving on to the round of 32. Auburn lost. Ha, 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 ha. All right. I saved that. Voted three times. <laughs> All right, Autumn, were you able to vote this time? Pamela's a ham, though. Yeah. All right. We got four votes. That means two people have not voted. I'm the woman who raised rabbits. She will cook them for me. That's right.
Hi. Uh, Autumn, were you able to vote this time? All right, Robin voted. Hooray. Has everyone voted? We have four votes. Okay. Yeah, you get a you get a uh, you get a I voted sticker. That means there's a couple people watching who haven't voted in the poll. Someone, come on, break this tie. Two votes for Hamill Anderson. Two votes for Natalie Porkman. What's it going to be? All right. We're about to wrap this up. No, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Autumn, you don't have to switch your vote. You're going to get the cast. Of th well, somebody just dropped off and whatever. So, uh, all right. Autumn, break the tie. You want Natalie Porkman or uh, Hamill Anderson? You get the pick. Oh, we got a fifth vote. Someone came in here and voted and broke the tie one way or the other. All right, that's it. We're going to close the poll. Somebody just jumped in and they'll rebalance it out or something. So there's the end of the poll. It is going to be Hamela Anderson. Don't, don't change. You didn't have to change your vote. All right, there we go. All right, so we're back, back in action here. All right, now we got to run our ass back home. How, how heavy am I? You know what? You know something? I owe these little douchebags over here for biting me in the ass. Where are you? Oh, there they are. Shit missed. Oh, they just got out of range. Hey. All right, you guys go find a quiet spot and just stand there for a second. One. Oh, really? You Shit. They may have a buddy around here somewhere that I'm not seeing. They have a buddy somewhere. There we go, son. You died. That is a big plus. You know why? Not only do we have two points to spend, but now we get IFF. Now, uh, I want to get the strong arm, or I want to get the lock and load. <clears throat> but you know what? Steady hand will work for now. Oh, my gosh. All right, um, so now, map mode, let's, where are we? All right, we still got a live one out here somewhere. But now we got IFF to work with. Aha! Dickheads. Target, target, target. Down. I think we got a fourth one.
Target, target, target. I hear you. There you are. What's up, bud? Damn it. I don't know what happened to my axe. Damn it. What happened to my freaking axe? For fuck's sake, where's my axe? Where did my axe go? Damn it. It's like, okay, just went naked into combat, punching a wolf in the face, and the bitch ran away. Ha! Which is all well and good, but damn. Did I accidentally sell it or something? Gonna say. Give me my bolt back. That's what I'm talking about. All right, clowns. I got my revenge now. Now I got IFF. You can faffo all you want. Because I'm coming to get you. Coming to get you. Spitting out lyrics. Homie, I wet you. Came to get down. I came to get down. So get out your seat and jump around. Wrap a bandage around this. Pretty sure we're clearing them out there. Yep, they're grayed out. Okay, cool. Let's get back to the house. We got farm work to do. Ooh, bird. A lot of everybody's heard about the bird. Yeah, I did just punch a doggo. And that was enough damage on top of the crossbow hit for him to unass and run away. He decided to rethink his life choices and said, run away. I want this buck over here on this far side. The one away from the wolves. Yeah, you. The one whose head just did a John Kennedy impersonation. Wait, what? Thank you. Please drive through. Having a rough day. I'm having a rough day because I don't know what happened to my axe. What the fuck happened to my axe? You know, I'm like, where the hell? I don't think I dropped it. I, did I accidentally leave it back at camps going through and rearranging stuff? I don't know what happened. That was an iron axe. I mean, it's cool that I got, you know, the, the iron scythe and the hammer. But damn it, dude. How'd I screw the pooch on that? Because that's a royal pooch screw.
straightest distance and all. All right, so here's our garden. And here's our pigos. They're already doing their job. Wait, there they are. Hey, what's up, gang? Yeah, I hear you. There's a little bit of that. <laughs> hey, thank you. Thank you so much. You're doing your jobs. Great. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's only six, but you know, that's six more than we had, right? Get this taken care of. I don't think so. I don't think it broke on me. I didn't hit anything to have broken it. Oh my gosh, I'm right at maxed out weight. I can't believe I'm moving as fast as I'm moving. But that's okay. We got the job done. That's what matters. I still have any rot on me. Yeah, I got six. We'll just drop that in here. Doink. Okay. We could eat something. Where are we at? 29. Might as well eat this. Got all that meat to cook. Dump this meat. Oh, we got all these berries to drop, too. God, chat. Thanks for reminding me. Okay. All right. So now... Sixteen fifty two. We got some crap to throw down in here. Oh, I gotta re equip that torch too. Okay, what? Oh hell. There's the hammer, there's my shovel. Ugh. This is not good. All right, bro. I hate to do this to you, but um, confiscating your bronze axe till further notice. But I will replace it with some lesser quality tools. that damn no I don't want the berries right now I, no I want the steak damn it I'll come back and get the berries D kids
All right, make six stone axes. Did I get married yet? Yes. Yes, I have. Um, I got married early, and then got a quest from my wife. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, you're stuck with that. Let me get two more sticks and two stones and. Couple of steak. Okay. Oh, and guys, if we come across oat ale, someone yell at me in the chat and tell me to make sure I leave it. Because I think I accident—I accidentally—I don't think I know I did. I accidentally sold the stupid two that I got from. Adobe and needed to hold on to those. Okay, um, let's put that in slot one. That's our primary melee weapon now. Swell. Okay, it is 1812. It's a good year for war. Hello, husband. Uh, let's see. I thought I already paid my taxes. I did. Come see me at our house after 7 p.m. Have a nice day. Okay, there we go. Bow chicka bow wow. About to happen. Time is it. All right, 1833. We need to, whoops, no, damn, that, what, oh, jeez, F, Get some of this done. We'll go clean up. Then we'll go do the bow chick bow wow thing. Um, my iron axe. I lost it. I'm not sure I, if I accidentally sold it or I don't think it broke on me. I think it still had plenty of life left in it. But the problem is it disappeared at an inopportune time. And that was when I was engaging a wolf. And I only hit it with a wounding shot, and it came after me. And I punched it in the face a couple times. And that was enough to get it to take off so I could go back to the, the crossbow on it. Nineteen thirty-six. Let's put this shit up, as it were. We need that. We'll dump this. All right, and put that away, and let's go clean up. Yeah, we're starting early on the the whole. Let's get this. You know, it's going to be eighteen years before we take over as our son. That's Radamilla. 
Greetings, my love. <laughs> All right, bow chicka bow wow time. See if she says anything. Is anything troubling you, my dear? Uh, how's our little kingdom doing? We seem to be running trouble through free. Ba -ba -da. Hooray! I shot straight last night, gang. We're pregnant. Yay! <laughs> Which is going to take her out of play. Um, so it's summer. So it's end of summer. So autumn, winter, spring. So she'll have the baby probably late spring or in the spring season. I'm not sure how that'll work. Which means I may have messed this up. No, I didn't think about that. But that's okay. We'll work around it. We'll get us some. We'll, one of our other cousins will show up. And we will figure it out. So. All right, so yeah, I need those axes for mutilating the enemy. That well, you know, I didn't need them for mutilating the the enemy when I shot those two bad guys, right? Didn't need them then. Just need Only a couple a of bolts. Only a few more months of this burden, and I'll get two years of maternity leave. Terrific. All right. Well, you know what? That's all well and good, and I appreciate that. We are going to just uh, hold up there, gang. We're going to stick with our, our regular, our schedule here. That leaves the third day of summer, and then we go into fall. So that's that's how we've been working this is we go to one day left in the season, and then we do the first two days of the next season. So um, we got to finish fertilizing the flax field, well, the, the big field, and then we got to hoe it, and then we've got to um, – Plant cabbage. I don't know if we'll do the full field of cabbage, but maybe we will because that's a lot to sell. Um, and then we've got fertilizer ready. And um, yeah, we'll get ready for the autumn harvest and then planting uh, rye. Then we'll be able to make animal feed. And we'll see how that goes. And then we may have to make that field bigger uh, just to, you know, sustain it. We want to be able to make more than we need because those pigs will probably get the bow chick bow wow on at some point and make more piggies and make more poop machines. And we need poop machines. Poop machines are good. Then we don't have to worry about running around gathering berries. But uh, early game, that's the smart way to do it. I mean, if you have food that's about to go bad or if you're going to do something – hunt a bunch and take that meat save some of it but then if you put like 200 meat out and that's not an unreasonable amount when you're toting an iron crossbow you could go kill a couple of uh wizard and a couple of deer and have 200 meat but that'll get you 600 rot which is enough for a 10 by 6 field fertilizer wise okay that makes sense so guys i appreciate you watching and uh, I uh, thank you all for your uh, love and support the past week. It's been great. I'm going to kind of move away from discussing that going forward. But uh, thank you much. Appreciate it. Hope you give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about the channel. Let them know about Medieval Dynasty. Now available on Steam from Render Cube Games. That's for PC players. You get the 2.0 version, which is what we're playing here on the Valley map, which also means you can play on the Oxbow map. For the other one else, you'll be playing on the original Valley map on the one point whatever version, but they are currently working on it for the other platform. So do not fret. Um, it will be available. They're saying Q1, Q2. Q1's passed now, effectively, or almost passed. So second quarter leads us up to the end of June. So they got three more months. All right. So keep the faith and just monitor their social media accounts and they'll let you know what's going on. So. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon. And um, join us on Discord. There's a link in the description below. At some point, we may open up audio channels for those of you with uh, with headsets and can chime in and say, hey, what's up, A-Train? Stuff like that. So, But uh, if, uh, if you feel so inclined to help support the channel, although we do uh, normally take uh, donations to our PayPal, uh, there's a link in the description to the Texas Valor Project supporting veterans with traumatic, traumatic brain injuries. Uh, they do a fantastic job because uh, the VA and the government really don't help them so much. So uh, it's great, uh, great local charity here in Texas supporting Texas veterans. And uh, if you would uh, care to make a donation, make it to them through the link in the description and use my mother's name, Sandy Amick, uh, as uh, the on behalf of. So I thank everyone for uh, being part of the, uh, the show. I uh, don't know if we'll be streaming tomorrow, I, but I will definitely be back on Sunday. So uh, I hope everyone has a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.